walking around looking for a place to take your shit. Looking like I already diarrhea all over my shirt. And I'll do cab what's in between. Do three things I want to say. Wash my clothes, get an arm workout, and get a cab for you. Mosquitoes in the stair are by far the worst thing I have ever. Paid for another week on the lot with the van. Paid 20 bucks. Not too bad. That's why I took cash out because I knew it's gonna have other bills coming out of my account. Probably some money transferred. So took us some back uh, backup cash just in case. Bills these days out of your account are just you should be prepared for them, but in this situation, I had to take my cash out, eat the Ooh. That's why I'm wearing white. Ooh. People drive uh, like maniacs at night around here. There's racing going on sometimes. I always hear people beeping at people. That lady was super nice to the lady I paid for the lot. She was like, I completely understand. She like asked me if I had the cash and stuff first. So, and, I mean, the month was up. I texted her. Asked her if I could save. The week was up, so I texted her and asked her how much another week would be. I'm not gonna pay for the full month, but um, I'll just go week week by week until the money comes. So I got the spare cash. I only got enough for like two or three weeks, so hopefully the funds come by then. Definitely gotta watch my back on these roads. Now it's time to get a beer. I will say that my time in Texas, like in this part of Texas for the last, it's been like a month, people are seem really uh, you know, helpful and nice and uh, you know, like out of their way to like understand and like help you in certain ways. So, it's definitely been a uh, good thing. <laughs> when your van breaks down and your transmission doesn't work and you don't have uh, you know, your funding is not that great. This is what it is. Soon enough, that money will transfer and I get my money fixed. This is uh, the people's next doors 
lantern that they let me borrow. I mean, they ins like insisted. I said I was fine, and they insisted that I have this lantern. Like, I walk around and stuff. I have this light, but I got a charger. This one has a battery that lasts a lot longer. I think I got one of these in my um, my hiking bag too. But you know, it's those batteries lasted for like a couple nights now, three nights. Probably lasts for pretty long time a lot longer than that stays charged for and that takes charge away from my jackery and you know what i use for my fan what i use for my phone so this is another example of people just going out of their way to try to help people that are in you know not the easiest uh you know most perfect situations just reacted like complete douche this lady asked me for id when i just went to buy beer and um she said she was born the same year as me, and I was like, oh, really? <laughs> that was my reaction, and I don't know. She just didn't seem like she was my age, and she probably thought my ID was fake, <laughs> but I don't know. I just kind of talked about the 90s. I felt bad after how I reacted. I was surprised. I will say that the two interactions I just had... um, like they were kind of, they were fine. I didn't really have anxiety, but because I'm not used to having conversations that often, kind of like I wouldn't say I'm super engaging in the conversations, and I would say that I kind of like space out um, at times. Like those two things I noticed. Like I'm just I wasn't super engaging, and um, you know, like I've follow the conversation fine whatever but like just not i don't know like i i didn't really get, show as much emotion and i wasn't super engaging and i kind of like found myself spacing out at times because probably like unfamiliar territory for me in a way but something you know like anything it's practice it takes practice um so i'm pretty sure if i did some research i'd find that uh those things that i just talked about are probably um related to being on the autism spectrum so makes sense it's logical <laughs>